good day everyone. I am Razali J. Soyo and we have a vlog today. I am going to talk to you about the game Chinese Garter. Hmm, by the way, I will ask you, what is a Chinese Garter? Wait, wait, wait. Just give me a sec because I'm too formal for today and I am going to have my P.E. outfit or the physical education outfit. Oh, what did we just talk about? Chinese garter. Hmm, Chinese garter. Hmm, this one. So Chinese garter basically, it is a famous game that requires flexibility, balance, and coordination. <laughs> Kidding aside, it is a favorite activity for Filipino children particularly among girls in elementary school. <laughs> I know you remember something, right? Well, that's fine. Back to the topic. This game focuses around a standard garter for about 2 or 3 yards long, which we can purchase at a store for around 2 pesos only. Well, sounds cheap, right? But I have a lot of classmates during my elementary years that lost their garters. By the way, we already know the meaning of Chinese garter and where we can buy it. So, next is, are you ready to play? We don't know how to play it. Huh? You don't know how to play this one? Well, I'm basically an expert. I will teach you how and it's not a problem anymore. I will show you how it is being played. Got it? Got it. Got it. First, you need to have two groups with at least two members per team. In each group, you should pick a leader, what do we call the mother of the game. This is the mother of the game which will save your team or a person in your team that fails a certain level and the other two will serve as a pool. This game is usually subdivided into 10 levels. Here is the example of the levels being used to give you an idea. Each round, the garter's height is made higher than the previous round. As the garter is stretched up to the posts, it will start in the ankle level, followed at the knee level, until the garter is positioned above the head. The only objective in this game is to be able to successfully jump over the garter as it is held higher by the game posts. And the goal is to cross without having tripped on the garter. That's it. What happened? Why are you sad? Well, I just remember something. Uh, when I was a kid, I was an elementary student. Me and my classmates were playing this game, having fun, though when I got home, I was scolded by my parents because my uniform got too dirty. I've just realized that being young was so fun. Playing this traditional game called Chinese Garter helps me improve my flexibility, socialization, for meeting new friends, and playmates. I can say that this game can help our health and it can be our daily exercise to help our body fit. Well, as before, I will always play not just in school but also here in our community. I have lots of childhood friends. Not the same on the game, just childhood friend, huh? Mm, got you! So bye for now because I have to go and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification bell for more updates and for more upcoming videos! Again, this is Rosalie J. Soyo. Stay positive everyone but not on COVID-19.